Shin has noticed that the dramatic sound effect in DBZ is really <laughs> silly. <laughs> I can't even make it. It's an instrument. I had one when I was in elementary school. It's a glockenspiel. No, it is in no way a glockenspiel. Glockenspiel is a fun word. Glockenspiel is like a little metal marimba. It's a bell kit. A bell kit is a glockenspiel. I actually owned a glockenspiel at one point. It's the wrong button. I believe glockenspiel literally translated to German just means bell play. That doesn't surprise me necessarily. Because German, everything is a pig. Well, and because that is what you're doing. You play the bells. And does that mean when you're saying, I don't get your spiel, you're saying, I don't get your play? Your play or game, or such, I think, yeah. Which makes sense, right? No. Oh. You're incorrect there. Goodbye. Time to... Be Time to bet away. Okay, I was jumping on balloon dogs. Hey Shin, Don't do you do remember that. when I was making shit, uh, Charmander's eyes? <laughs> Spooky snail face. <laughs> I hopefully have prevented that from happening this time. Although so far he looks slightly Elmo-ish. Which is another kind of scary, apparently. Elmo is one of the worst things. You can't ruin Sesame Street. I don't know that he ruined Sesame Street. If anything, he br brought it to a group of kids that might not have watched it and caused it to go off the air. Better to die a hero than watch yourself become a villain. But it wasn't a villain. I don't think Sesame Street ever became a villain. You just don't understand. No, I don't. Shin, no don't you get it? Am I the Sesame Street? No. Oh, phew. <laughs> Izzy is racist against red, like, actually red, not like in the historically stereotypical racist <laughs> term. You talk yourself into a corner. Okay? <laughs> That's why I had to justify and explain what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, he's racist against red fuzzy monsters. There, we'll put it that way. But Evane... Uh, Evane's not fuzzy. Depends on the Evane. Usually, from what I've seen, she's more wiry-haired or just a human. Yeah, wiry-haired. I mean, this Evane. This Yvain is... There are many Yvains. This Yvain has a funny face. It's not true. It's not true. I don't like it when they have you do this. They have you place, like, long skinny pieces on exactly one peg. And then they fall off all the time because they're on exactly one peg. Ha. Huh. I only got hit by you once. Hit by him once. Why do I get hit by him once in that form? It's like his superpower. You're hitting you once? Yeah. I will. I have the superpower of hitting you once. With a super predictable pattern, which. You just got eaten by the horse. He <laughs> did. You looked him in the mouth and. I was gonna go a different route. I was gonna go the less popular sequel to Snake Eater, Horse Eater. We got eaten by a horse. Yeah, the horse is an eater. Oh. Just like the snake is an eater. Killed him, and then he killed me. Was it balloon dog? Because they'll kill you because they have sharp teeth, which is bizarre for a balloon. Ooh, that could have been very bad. You could have thrown him everywhere. Yes. Instead, I only threw them somewhere.
again. This set has some huge design flaws compared to the others that I've done from this creator. I killed his first form, but I had one hit point left. Stop letting this thing hit you. It shouldn't hit you. Ever. For any reason. Don't even go for the purple duck. Orange duck. Pink duck. Yeah, that one. Duck. If you end this part of the fight with one hit point, one, you failed. Who are you talking to? Me. I don't. In, um. Oh. You're always on at the edge of the screen when he does his charge. You never jump over him. I try. You can air dash. Sometimes I do, and then I crash oh. into a duck. Ha! Mm -hmm. ah. It's like juggling. <laughs> no, it's nothing like juggling. Oh. <laughs> Izzy actually does have some experience there. <laughs> I have some experience of knocking parts of Squirtle's eye out of his head repeatedly. I'm gonna put these two parts away, because you never attach them to anything and they keep falling off. So now Squirtle looks like this. Ah, he does not look happy. <laughs> Just die. I mean, he looks loosely happy. He makes a lot of noises. It's funny dying and turning into a pole. To a whole carousel. I did! You died. This guy isn't even all that tough. Why am I losing to him? Apparently he is that tough. Supposed to arch over? Hmm. Yeah, so it's supposed to go this way. I mean, I'm not quite sure if that's better yet. I tried to jump, but I jumped at the wrong time. And I miss. No. Well, I hit. That was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I exactly didn't miss. <laughs> I still passed out in the snow. I guess I missed again. <laughs> uh, how do we always end up fighting the last one with one hit point? You didn't. Last time it was two. Oh. That's pretty good. We got eaten by penguins. <laughs> penguins are kind of jerks, huh? I mean, sometimes they'll smack others into the water. So, yeah. They throw spooky baseballs at you. Oh, I think you almost got him there. Okay, but Shin, here's my real question for you, and it's a kind of existential one. What makes a baseball spooky? It's when it's bad. <sighs> How do you know when it's bad? You just, just something you can feel. Like... I thought you were going to say some penguins are throwing them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> Well, the penguins are really just playing baseball. Well, they're doing it in a bad place. Well, 
Well, sometimes people play baseball in the wrong place. Like minefields. <laughs> I hope people aren't playing baseball in those. Play. I'm sure it's happened before. Hit the dash button and crash into the train. Dash me. <laughs> Dang it, Smooth McGrew. What? Smooth is a, a, a connoisseur of the Boz. Ba and yet, I don't remember any of his uh, Mario 64 musics at all, even though he does a lot of the pop pop. It's because Mario 64, he did Mar the Mario 64 music when he was a lady. What? <laughs> when, when he was also a th synthesizer instrument? Yes. I mean what I said, except no, I don't. <laughs> I mean what I said, except I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> I see any pink balloons, I will jump on their heads and they will die. What if you see 99 red balloons? That's terrible. I, I mean, mean I it you, does well, no, you can't cause the red ones because they're red. It does cause a nuclear war. What? 99 red balloons is about a war breaking out. Because of balloons? Uh, I don't remember exactly the context. But it's such a cheery like, sounding yes, song. Yes, that's part of the art. Yeah, it's. Uh, Why'd you do that? Dang donkeys! I say that a lot. You're just, you're just so excited, you want to say hi. And in the morning he's making waffles. What? Donkey. <laughs> oh. He made a Shrek reference. <laughs> On your stream, Shin. <laughs> now go! Oh, that's part of what's wrong here. You made him run over a fire. But it doesn't hurt him. He doesn't feel as good. Bumper cars are fireproof. Ow. Checks! Your pea shoot's probably better for shooting ducks. Dacon. What does the P even stand for in this case? It's P-E-A. Yeah, but there's also things that are just P dot. Well, it's, well, in that case, it stands for ping. Or possibly Perry. Or Periwinkle. No. Periwinkle was the cat. What? Blue's Clues. It's also a color. I know. All the animals at that point were named after colors. What about salt? There wasn't What's an animal. animal. You don't know who that seems to uh... I'm pretty sure it's a mineral. Just a guess. <laughs> Did they ever talk to any vegetables in the show? Probably. Pepper. Well, I mean, pepper is technically ground up pepper corn. Well, we're still counting salt as a mineral, so. Well, it is still a mineral! <laughs> And pepper is still vegetable matter. But it's dead! Spooky. I'm sure they did speak to vegetables over the course of the show, though. I mean, I don't remember, I don't remember instance, but I'm sure it happened. You also didn't watch it a whole lot. <laughs> I don't think it was on any channels I had at that age. 